Interesting. Interesting. All right, Shabbat Shalom to the tribe. All right, nice spiral. All right, I told you, look here, man. You know, sometimes, <laughs> hey, sometimes you got to pump fake them. All right? It'll be hard, all right, for anybody in their right mind not to show you the most high's work, all right? And we're just wondering about the conquest of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 20, all right? We're going to touch a little bit on the great fire of 1904, all right? Featuring Jared Boosters, all right? Mr. Jared Boosters is back in the house with us on this wonderful Shabbat. All right, hope you're having a great, great, awesome, wonderful Shabbat. All right, it is all about the rest. Have a good time, all right? It's a checkpoint. If we can just make it from Shabbat to Shabbat, until the Most High come get us out of this mess, all right, we'll be all right. And that's what... Uh, meditating on Torah is all about. All right, and we're going to get, I say now, let's take a second look at that Jacob's trouble, all right? In the meantime, let's get started. Hornets in the Bible, all right? I've been through this many times, all right? It's very simple. All right, with the Yiddish, with the Yiddish, he started changing letters, all right? You see that? So these letters meaning yellow, you see that? Uh, these letters meaning gold, all right? But if you mosey on down, all right, this is how you skim through the hijack real quick, all right? Y'all can check this link out. Ancient Hebrew Research Center. All right, I frequent here a lot. Consider that these group of letters right here, all right, uh, means burn or scorched. All right, is a bosom, place a burn, communicates the idea of smelt, refined, test. All of these words seem to be related to heat. All right, not only that, uh, inflammation, uh, which is excessive heat. All right, so what happened? Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 20 through 24. Moreover, the most high your power will send the hornet or will send excessive heat among them until those who are left who hide themselves from you are destroyed. What's going on here, all right? Uh, what are these hornets being used for? Cold word. You should not be terrified of them, all right? Because your mother and father above already call themselves terrible. They say that they can be very terrible. All right. And it's important it's important that you understand that they move as a cohesive unit. All right? So what's going on here? For the most high your power, the great and awesome Hawa is among you. So we shouldn't be afraid of them. Why? Because they work for the Most High. We're just talking about angels. See that? They just compartmentalize. You see that? And the Most High, your power will drive out those nations before you little by little. Do you see this? All right. This is what? Population control. And so, in other words, 
Oh, well, let, let's just get the rest of it. All right. Uh, you will be unable to destroy them at once. Least the beast of the field become too numerous for you. All right. So this is all about population control. All right. And so it would seem that these angels have uh, the choice of life and death over one's life. All right. So they can control who dies in an instant and who doesn't dies. We're just talking what? Eighteen twenty-eight. Noah. All right. Noah. Uh oh. Noah. Webster. Dictionary. And we're just digging on what? Hornet. Meaning excessive heat, right? And so we must be talking about the dragon, all right? A fiery shooting meteor, all right? Do you see what they did? Fierce and violent person, all right? This is indeed an angel, all right? Gabriel came to Daniel as a man in the form of a man. All right, since we're just talking fiery shooting meteor, all right? fiery shooting meteor, then we must, by all means, all right? No, I don't want that. We must, by all means, all right, be talking about any atmospheric phenomenon, which would make sense, right? All right, get over the romanticized about dragons. You know, they don't work like Hollywood, all right? They work totally different. All right, so we're going to bring in Mr. Jared Boosters, y'all. Welcome, Mr. Jared Boosters. All right, I'm not going to play all of Mr. Boosters' work, all right? I'm going to wait to a certain point and bring him in, all right? Because he touched on something, all right, that I noticed. And by all means, you know what I'm saying, I must share this with the tribe, all right? The wonders of the works of your mother and father above is what we're about to see, all right? So appreciate you, Mr. Boosters, for letting us cook with you. All right, this is Toronto, 1904, the Great Fire. Again, pick a city. It happened. Wonderful, wonderful structures. All right, horse and buggy people. And tick with tick. All right, this is our cue right here, man. Just look at this. Beautiful structure, beautiful. Let's go. The night was cold on April 19th, 1904. Uh-huh. Toronto temperatures were roughly 25 degrees Fahrenheit that night with bitter snow showers. In the elevator shaft, which was a rather luxurious invention at the time, of the E and S Curry Limited Neckwear Boutique, All right. smoke began to bellow. Talk to me. This smoke was eventually noticed by the local Toronto authorities, but by this point, it was too late, and much of the E and S Curry building was already engulfed in flames. 
All right, all right. All in all, wow. the exact cause of the fire was never determined. How Never determined, all right? Wow. <laughs> Yo, look at this, man. What could do such a thing? All right? We're talking Sodom and Gomorrah type style. All right? Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah style. All right? Get down or lay down. All right? This is what you see in all these fires. Every last picture. All right? It's almost as if... um. Like Howdy Mikowski said, all right, as if a, a knife had been cut through, all right? All right, you see the cut of this building right here? Almost like the strike came. Boo, boo, boo. You see what I'm saying? And so we're all about forensics over here, too, all right? We're getting our forensics on, all right? Let's rock. However, within mere hours, 17 fire halls were attempting to contain the flames. All right, all right. The winds that night soared at 30 miles per hour, pushing the flames from building to building in the Toronto. All right, and then you're also going to get, you know, I read about this in the Baltimore fire as well, how the winds picked up in these fires and almost as if it was just driving it, I right? pushing it. <laughs> and so this is the most highest work. And we're just talking about any atmospheric phenomenon. Let's rock. Until night sky. Firefighters from as far away as Buffalo, New York, arrived to fight the flames. All right. The fire spread quickly. It took only nine hours for much of the city of Toronto, all the old world history, all the architecture of the grandest stature to be reduced to rubble. Mm -hmm. By morning, the fire was contained. These photographs are some of the only known images depicting the aftermath. We can clearly see masonry built buildings, cathedrals, post offices, and enormous unnamed or unmarked structures with building blocks as large as humans, mm. somehow being taken from their original glory and transformed into next to nothingness. We see a lot of debris, yes. But what we see even more, in my opinion, Talk to is me. confusion. Confusion. The looks on the faces of those who yeah. remained in Toronto at the yeah. time of the fire are quite telling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's Jerry Boosters, y'all. Look, oh, look at the size. I right, man, just look at the size of this block right here compared to this human being. All right, back then, would they had to be what? Five, seven? Average male, what five eight, something like that. <clears throat> All right, it's cook, it's cook. All right, we're getting warmer. Talk to me, Jerry. It's rock, it's rock. I say, talk to me now. Yo, Jerry. Jerry, you know? So are the numbers. All right. We are told that over 100 buildings were destroyed, Bathroom causing break. over 8 million in 1904 US dollars in damages. It's hard to quantify just how bad or large the sum of damages was but we're talking roughly $250 million adjusted for inflation. Just look at some of the photographs here. Mm -hmm. With destruction like this, the absolute decimation of nearly an entire city, one can only imagine 
How many must have lost their lives trying to avoid or fight this fire? This is not Yet, now. This is not. There lies what might be the most surprising aspect of the 1904 Great Fire in Toronto. Talk to me. Only one person passed away as a result of the blaze. Mm -hmm. And this was said to be due to that person rushing back into the fire in hopes of fighting the flames. Hmm. All right, but before we get to the one person that lost his life, rushing back in, because we do, only on the Nine Spiral Show, we do have more video. Ah! <laughs> All right, but. We want to understand the most highest work, all right? Your father and mother above work, how they could send these angels, all right, and do all this damage that you just saw. And only one person making a dumb decision lost his life. Only one person. If that don't scream, works. The wonders, all right, of the works of your mother and father. But if that don't scream, what does, man? Only one person who pretty much chose to die. Now, we're going to get to him. I'm going to show him to you now. And, you know, uh, may he rest in peace. He probably didn't know no better trying to be brave but we want to understand how could this happen nine spiral do you have anything to show us because you know i'm all about the visuals that's how i perceive and yes i do all right this is in mexico uh, it's 2000, I'm going to say in the mid-2000, something like that. Uh, now, 2000, I'm not sure. I'm going to say 16 or something like that. Uh, but this is going to, you know, man, you're really going to get to see the most high work right here. All right? And how these dracons, these angels get down. All right? This is truly a blessing, all right, to break down. I think I did it before, but here we are. All right, so you're going to get it real time action. And then what I did was slow it down. <clears throat> but hopefully I'll be able to show it to you in 1080. If not, sometimes, it, you know, uh, it'll kind of mess my Wi-Fi up. If not, I'll switch it back to 720. I really want you to get it in 1080. All right, so we're going to push for that. All right, so let's get it in real time. And what you're going to notice up here is a cloakness. All right, this is when they cloak. All right, you see this right here? Moving up top. Now watch this. All hell breaks loose, all right? See that? You still got people down here. This is our guy right here, all right? But we're going to get this slow mo, and it's really going to uh, bring things to, to life, uh, give you some depth on what's going on in this situation. There's a lot going on. All right, so pay attention. We're talking population control, right? You got a person walking right here. You got a truck right here. You got some people working in this area right here. All right? You got a truck that's coming right here. All right? So they on the move right here. You see that? Now watch this. Watch this. Pay attention to this circle right here. You see that? 
You see this circle right here? It's holding back this blast wave, all right? Because this guy is crossing right here, all right? And plus you got a truck right here. Now you also have some people back here working. And so this one little circle dot, I call it like a nipple, right? On the titty, all right? We all grown folks. And watch it as it wiggles and almost like it's, you know, strengthening, uh, tussling with this blast wave. Just for these people's sake right here. It don't get no better than this, y'all. You see it? Now, that's your guy right there. But you see him? He's tussling. He, he's holding it back. He's holding it back. Look at that. All right, let's get that again. You see that? This guy ducked. He was able to get loose. All right? Then his truck stopped. You see how it's holding it back? You see that? It pretty much slowed down the blast wave. Watch this, man. Watch this. See the guy right there. We're going to catch him. All right. You see it? You see it? One more time. One more time. All right, so now that you know what's going on, man, just, you know, try to take it all in. This is fucking amazing. Y'all excuse my language. See it? You see how it's holding it back? You see it? You see how it's going back and forth with it? All the way up until the end. All right, look at my mans right here. You got people all back here that was spared. By this one dracon tussling with this blast wave, all right? And so we're just showing you the most eyes work, man. This is how it's done, man. Child is rock, is rock. <clears throat> now pertaining to the one uh, that lost his life, all right? Like I said, we do have him on camera. We're just going to cooperate, all right? And this was a good chance to kind of get a close-up on these old world structures, uh, if you will. I did. I think I kind of highlighted those buildings in the background right here. All right, y'all, so I'm assuming that they're going to the fire. All right, this is all on YouTube, all right? Uh, of course, we rocking in uh, 1080. And look at the stories, man. I'm counting at least like four stories right here. One, two, three, four. 
all right so they actually fighting the fire all right and so where's the uh the one brave one all right we're looking for the brave one that rushed back in and tried to save somebody or put out the fire i don't know what he was doing i don't know what he was thinking man uh boy you finna get your head uh clean uh, uh took off <laughs> uh oh we got him we got him y'all there you go there he is right there all right he made it across they cut the footage Woo! you see that now in my mind now follow me now jared booster said there's one guy that lost his life rushing back in we just heard that And they got this video footage out. Now they cut the footage. He made it then. Now this is where he fucked up. All right. Now watch where the blast come. It's going to come this way. In my mind, it took his head clean off. You see that? <laughs> That's a Dracon hit, man. You see that? If not, then he got hit one of these bricks and something and it's upside upside the head y'all see that man come on man all right we gotta before we get back to him man i did try to get some you see that nice all right we got a close up on him. We in close, y'all. Here you go. Here you go. Billy Badass. You want me to save him? Then I'll save him. Now, I believe he barely made it right then and there. Somebody cut the footage. And he was trying to try to tell his ass to come on back. Man, come up. Bill. Bill. Bring your ass. Now, watch this. That strike came in this vicinity, man. It came this way. There you go. All right, man. Uh, I did a video uh, called Jacob's Trouble. All right. Time of Jacob's Trouble. I just wanted to take a second look at it, man. Some people wanted me to take a second look. Uh, especially... Uh, the Dracon that did the back backwards flip somersault in the air. I got you yourself. All right, yourself the real eyes. Right, so I want you to find him. All right, show me where he's where he's at. Where he's at? Huh? Y'all see him? Where he at? Oh, there you go, right there. Now watch this. For the evil which you saw in the vision is already hastening to come. Then I answered and said, Let me speak in thy presence, Lord. For behold, I will go, as thou hast commanded. And I will reprove the people who are now living. But now he's here. Those who will be born hereafter. For the world lies in darkness, and its inhabitants are without light. For thy law has been burned, and so no one knows the things which have been done or will be done by thee. All right, let's get that again. Y'all see him? Watch this. <laughs> All right, and so we're just showing you the most highest work, man. And he continues down here. All right, y'all see him? Trust your eyes now. All right, con, con. So that really brings, uh, when you look back in the uh, online etymology, all right, media, right? Uh, high up, raised from the ground, hanging, 
I suspended. We just saw that hovering in air. You see what I'm saying? And so somebody saw this. You see what I'm saying? Somebody saw this and described this. You know what I'm saying? This was the best way they can describe back then. We're just talking Greek. <laughs> I ah uh, yes the uh, the famous dracon that hit the back of flip somersault in there. All right, <laughs> here we are. I tried to get the best you know uh, you know uh, footage wise. I tried to get it as close to 1080 as possible. I think this is 720 right here. All right, he's going to come from down here somewhere and hit a backward flip somersault. And that's what it looked like to me. All right. Let's rock. We in slow mo. Yeah, we in slow mo. Right. Now what in the hell? See, I tried to get as close up as I could on. Um, tell you what, I got an idea. All right, we're back. I think I was even able to slow him down a little bit more. Here he is right there. <laughs> Yo, that's 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 cold blooded. That's cold blooded. y'all we're back man we in super super slow mo i mean it don't get no slower than this i already recorded it in slow motion so i just uploaded it to youtube we in super super slow mo well deserving it is <laughs> cold blooded Yo, Halawa, cold blooded. You know, I'm trying to eat watermelon and look at the same time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But I see it, that was a backward flip somersault. <laughs> I want to say this was 2022. All right, y'all, we're right up on them. Not do it. Uh, not 
I do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all know what time it is. All praises, glory, and honor due to your father and your mother above. And for that, we say... Ah!